When it comes to making content as a content creator, at least for me, it's either showcase every character and whale out or try to be as free to play friendly as possible or somewhere in between. What's going on guys, I'm Josh. Welcome back to the channel. As always, today we're gonna be going over what I decided to do in Honkai Star Rail. And this is gonna be a free to play account. So I want you guys to meet free to play Josh. We spent a lot of time on stream during the first day rolling some characters we re-rolled a couple of times but we didn't have to re-roll that much thankfully because uh it takes like a while it's like a half an hour to an hour long depending on how fast you are if you want a method for that I already put up my method on how i re-rolled up on the channel i'll have that link down to the description below for you there but real quick before we go into everything here and what i've been doing a little bit to try to get as you know many rewards as possible as a free-to-play player we're going to be going over what I want to do with this account in Honkai Star Rail. So when I did Genshin Impact, actually before that, when I did FFVE and Genshin Impact, I really wanted to be able to showcase all of the theory crafting analytical data that we have on what characters are good, how to use certain characters in a certain way. And in a gacha game, everyone knows this, leveling characters is very expensive, both with in-game currency, as well with real money currency if you decide to go in here into the shop and start buying everything possible. Yeah, you get the first time bonus after that though, it becomes even more expensive. Everyone knows this, the battle pass is a very good thing, but let's get into this right now. So this account, we're not gonna be able to showcase every character on it. It's just not feasibly possible. Even if I decided to absolutely whale out, which is, you know, a couple thousand dollars a month, in my opinion, to try to get every new character in the game. Uh, it's gonna be quite a long process, no matter which gacha game that you are playing. So I decided, you know what? We're not gonna do that this time. I'm gonna just go in here, see what's up, and see what we have access to in the entirety of the game. So what we did is we rerolled a lot and we got extremely lucky. We got both Bailu and Barania right off the bat. And then to top all of that off, we actually got Sele as well right after that. So for a free to play account, this is an absolutely nutty start. I don't think we've seen a better start on a free to play account in any game I have ever played, but that's where it's going to start and probably stop at the insanity of this account. Maybe we'll get lucky later on. We'll have to see about that. But there's a lot of characters in Honkai Star that I wanna try out. When we are starting the account, I wanted to maybe try to get Brania. I wanted to go in there and get Su Shang and use her as my main DPS. I don't have that though. I didn't pull her. I don't have any copies of her, but Xu Shang and Ting Yun were the two characters I wanted to focus on the most on this account. Hopefully we'll be able to gain access to Su Shang in the future. Yeah, we're gonna have a ton of characters to work on here. And I, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of exciting how efficient that we've been able to be. However, the thing is here, if I try to level up every single character here, I would just instantly run out of every resource known to man. So the main characters we're gonna be working on on this account probably are gonna be with these five first, but then we're gonna be working on Asta, March 7th, probably Sampo, cause he's cool. Pela is probably a character I would work on as well, uh, just because she has defense break and I don't have an ice element character fully fleshed out yet. I could do something like Pela or March 7th to go with the rest of my account there as well. Dan is back here as well. And obviously if you look at my account, my listing, I just got Sampo, I think yesterday when we were playing outside of Sampo, I, if I didn't have access to Sele on this account, I'd, I'd have to use Herta or Serval or Dan basically, which are, which are Dan's insane. And Serval's pretty good too. I want to do a Serval Sampo team composition, but who knows? It's just kind of up in the air, basically. We're just trying to scrimp and save starting probably right now. We did do a mistake. We tried to get greedy on our luck and we threw a lot of stuff at the uh, the brilliant fixation banner, the light cone banner for Sally. Did not get that. We're kind of sad here now, but let's just kind of go into everything I want to do on this account going forward. So as far as characters go, that like you can see in the future, Ting Yun's gonna definitely get a showcase. I think she's potentially the best character in the game, if not one of the best characters in the game. She's a fantastic battery. She has good speed. She's gonna start really scaling super well with gear later in the game once we get more energy recharge. I don't wanna talk about all of this 
mathematical stuff that's up here in the head that we've showcased and talked about on stream. If you want to check out the stream, we'll be streaming more a couple times a week. I don't have a set schedule yet, but there's going to be on the main YouTube panel. Hit the Twitch button. It'll take you right on over there and you can hit that follow button to see when we go live. But after that, though, I want to actually go in and showcase free to play Josh the fire trailblazer we've been using the fire trailblazer and this is the coolest thing about this game right now is that you're like you don't just need all of the damage dealers in honkai star Rail. actually the thing that's most worth trying to get ahead in right now as far as that event goes is actually simulated universe and i'm going to be coming out with a guide for simulated universe as well so you guys can get done with as many of these as possible but basically you have access to the herda store which is a big thing to get in here for five star cards are in here the light cones some of them are incredibly powerful especially this hunt card and this destruction card so this is something that you definitely want to get access to and simulated universe allows you to sort of you know go in and once you do it a couple of times and unlock the actual simulated universe where you can start leveling your ability tree and you can start going on different paths tanking down basically in the simulated universe having some nice tanks whether it's a uh, you know you maybe you have a bailu but maybe you want to use Natasha with a free Natasha. Maybe you have a couple Eidolons on Natasha. Natasha is very powerful here. The Fire Trailblazer is incredibly powerful here. And these are the characters that we've really been using. I want to level up Asta a little bit more for Simulated Universe and use her once again. We used her very early on. Incredibly powerful character. I'm looking at Sampo in the Nihility Tree for all the Nihility stuff you can do in Simulated Universe, which is going to be amazing in this tank down strat get high break effect on your Sampo, get some break effect stuff in the simulated universe cards that are given to you. If you know, if you played simulated universe, you know what the things you can kind of pick around, uh, which is going to be super awesome there. And then on top of that though, like March 7th is uh, that's Asta actual. Uh, where's March 7th, March 7th. Hello. There you are. Pink hair. We want to level up March 7th again, because she also is incredibly powerful in simulated universe because she's a preservation character there's a lot of shield stuff you can do in simulated universe that reduces the damage you take she works well with that there's a lot of free stuff in simulated universe that can allow you to do more damage or or do different things to frozen enemies which is crazy simulated universe is going to allow you to showcase so many different characters and we don't have like the best gear no one has like the best gear that you can really gain access to in the game quite yet honestly the game hasn't been out that long but this is the other reason why you guys want to get into simulated universe once you get into world five world six you can actually start getting access to uh some of the first five star relics you guys are going to be able to gain access to in honkai star rail and this is going to be the this one right here the inner solsado this set is going to be fantastic for dps characters it gives you crit chance increase of eight percent and then if you have uh, 50 percent or more crit rate you're going to boost up the damage of any follow-up attacks you do or any ultimates you do so not every character is going to have a follow-up attack but every character is going to have an ultimate and two-piece crit rate is going to be awesome there i'm not saying go out of your way and start spending your trailblazer power to start farming these asap but what you can do once you're working on simulated universe is you're going to be able to get better and better point rewards every week this is mine currently right now last week it was like 3600 is this the cap i'm not sure i don't think so because i don't think i had world six beaten slash unlocked here yet but what you are going to be able to gain access to starting once you start getting this 5000 tree is these immersifiers and you can turn 40 trailblaze power into an immersifier but what immersifiers are allowing you to do is they're used in simulated universe to open up these different reward boxes that have these five star relics in them. So that's something that you definitely should work on. And I think it's something that a lot of free to play players are going to have a lot of accessibility towards, because once you analyze your own account, maybe you have a couple of characters that are good and then you have a couple of characters that are good in the simulated universe. Maybe they're not your favorite characters, right? Maybe you're not the biggest March 7th fan or the biggest Natasha fan. You put a little bit of love into them, like I did my Fire Trailblazer here. And you can see, right, we have traces. I mean, we're not like maxed out on everything. Our relics are purple plus sixes, two plus three plus zeros in here. And we're able to use just the kit in combination with the different buffs you can get 
in simulated universe for great effect now one sad thing that i will say kind of really does suck as like a free-to-play content creator and i'm gonna need your opinion on this down below is that i do want to as a content creator still get out there and showcase this stuff as fast as possible do some of the content so i can get maybe ahead of you and then help you out with that as well and one of the saddest things that i cannot do is actually buy the battle pass because this is a free-to-play account and the battle pass as far as helping you gain access to materials to level up characters to level up their traces to enhance their traces to level up your relics to gain access to just more credits is such a big deal i don't even care about the cards that we're missing out on even though some of them are pretty great the thing that sucks is that i am not allowed to buy this battle pass as a free-to-play player now does that make me not free to play if i spend ten dollars a month on a battle pass you let me know down below is that almost free to play right now i'm kind of like just not gonna do it even though it does kind of suck this really does just kind of suck to not have access to to just kind of get out there and allow me to gain access to these materials to make content for you but that's gonna be a fine thing there what i have been doing and once again something that you should be doing as well to try to get as many resources as humanly possible so you can level up your team so you can do all this other stuff so you can farm your credit so you can get currency now as far as like what do i do every single day as a free-to-play player in honkai star i'm gonna probably have an entire video on that but i'll give you a sneak peek once again and yes it's gonna be simulated universe you want to get in here even if you can't beat the higher difficulty levels even if you have your current score maxed out for the week go in here and you can gain access to some of these nice free extra drops and they won't be forever you can't do this forever but you'll be able to gain access to some lost light dust to level up your relics you'll gain access to some extra credits in these drops from the monster so you can level up some of your traces some of your characters easily so you don't need to go out and farm these from the different uh the different calyxes that's going to save you you know trailblaze power so make sure that you do gain access to a lot of the free stuff in here that you could use your trailblaze power on don't do that make sure you check out the simulated universe first go in there level it a couple of times do some stuff and then try to farm this up a little bit even if you can't beat the entire thing do the hardest difficulty world that you can even if it's the first couple bosses even if you can't beat the final boss this is also going to help you level up your ability tree so every single time you go back into the simulated universe you're going to be that bit extra stronger than you were before that bit extra stronger because you can get you know extra stats to your all your characters when you're in here you'll be leveling up these big skills here which really applies to the blessings that you can gain access to and how this is going to affect the resonance that you pick at the start of simulated universe i don't want to go into a whole guide there and then in addition to that once you get those free simulated universe materials as far as traces go if you go into some of your traces you'll notice that you know some of these things you can get from the simulated universe enemies right here like the glimmering core but the other ones that you can't like these sprouts of life come from only the calyxes and one thing that you should look at first is uh well hold on go to your shop and if you come down to the ember exchange right here you're going to want to do one thing big first and foremost here always make sure that you're buying the special and star rail passes that you can in the ember exchange shop first okay but after that though you can buy some of these green versions of the different things you need for your traces so buy the green versions here they're not that expensive it's six of these per because it's 12 for two of them so it's six for each one and then you can actually craft these in the synthesizer on the second page using the different materials that you did buy out of there so you can craft up some of these sprouts of life now don't go in there and spend all of your stuff but if you're working on like your main character your main dps your main tank and you want all of their traces leveled up that is a good way to save some trailblaze power so you can use it on other things uh so you can work on multiple characters actually maybe at two of your characters you spend some of the embers to level up their traces that way the other two characters you actually go and spend your trailblaze power on and get them leveled up that way as well so that's just a little, small little tidbit there so hopefully those tips will help you out if you want to see more stuff i'm going to have an actual a, a bunch of stuff coming out world simulated universe what i do fully as a free-to-play player every day all of that stuff is coming on the pipeline guys i gotta go find my phone because apparently it got lost somewhere so uh hopefully that gets resolved because i i don't want to buy another phone that sounds terrible and until then guys i'll see you in the next one